Welcome back to a new section which is called Control Structures and Loops in PHP. I will be showing you how to use all of the main control structures like if, else, and else if in one video. In simple terms, a control structure allows you to control the flow of code execution in your application. So depending on the certain condition that you will be putting inside the if statement, you can create a system that outputs different line of code or different executions depending on the situation. As you could see on the diagram on the left hand side of my screen, you can see that the control structure always has a starting point. If you go down, the condition will be checked. A condition criteria can be either true or either false. If the condition evaluates to true, the conditional code will be executed. And if the condition is false, there will be a different type of conditional code that you can add. To give you a real life example that we will be building later on, Let's say that you want to write a program that checks if a user is logged in. If a user wants to log in, he needs to enter his email and password. If the condition evaluates to true, you want to proceed the user to his login page. If the condition is false, you want to give an error message that the password or email address is wrong. So PHP has three conditional statements. The first one is the if statement. The second one is the else statement, and the third one is the else if statement. Well, there's a fourth one, which is called the switch statement. I will be discussing the switch statement in a single video, which will be the next one. Let's start writing some PHP code and start with the basics. I want to start with the if statement, and the if construct allows you to execute a piece of code if the expression provided inside the parentheses which can also be called the condition, is evaluated to true. We want to build an application that only prints out a sentence if the age of a user is less than 18 years old. So we need to create a variable and let's set it equal to, well, let's name it age and set it equal to 17. On the next line, let's create our if statement. The way you create an if statement is simply by writing down if, followed by a set of parentheses and a curly brackets. Inside the parentheses, you want to specify your condition. So let's say that you want to echo out the piece of code that only appears if the age is less than 20. And remember, in the previous episodes about operators, I've teach you how you could do this. So we want to see if the age is less than 20 years old. If that's true, we will need to print out a piece of text and we want to say echo. Well, we don't want to say echo, but we want to echo out, sorry, you are too young. Let's save it. Let me close off my condition flow. I created a new folder, control structures, and you can see, sorry, you are too young. Let me zoom in on both screens. Since the expression or the condition evaluates to true, the output will be sorry, you are too young. But what if we change our age to 21? Let's save it, refresh your browser, and you can see that nothing is printed out because we haven't specified what needs to be done if the age is above 20 years old. Therefore, the if statement will evaluate to false. More often than not, you want to execute a different piece of code if the expression evaluates to false. That's where the else statement comes into place. So right after our closing curly bracket, we want to add a space followed by the keyword else and a set of curly brackets. The reason why you're not adding parentheses and the condition is because the else statement will always be executed if the if statement evaluates to false. So let's say that if the age is less than 20, we want to print out this line. Otherwise, we want to echo out, you are old enough to go out. Let's save it, refresh the browser, and you can see that because age is not less than 20, the else statement is printed out. And if we change it back to 17, you can see that the if statement will be executed. So right now we only have an if and an else. But what if you want to do more than one check? Because right now we're only checking if age is less than 20. You could create an else if statement. And an else if statement can be seen as an extension to the if else construct. The way you create an else if statement is going to the closing parentheses of the if statement. Hit the extra enter and write down the keyword else if, followed by a set of parentheses and curly brackets. 
I recommend you to use a logical order. So don't put the else if below the else. First, you want to check the if statement. Then you want to check the else if statement. And if they are both false, you want to echo out the else. So let's create a condition to see if the age is above 50. If that's true, we want to echo out a piece of code. So let's say age is above 50. If that's true, we want to echo out you are too old to party. So let's save it, refresh it, age is 70. So the first if will be executed, but if we change it to 51 and refresh it, you can see that the output is you are too old to party. You can add as many else if statements as you want. So let's copy paste it a couple times. So let's say that we want to see if age is less than 10. And then we want to print out, you need to be in bed. You can also check if a user is between two certain numbers. And if that's true, we want to print out a specific line of code. The way you do that is by saying, if age is above 18, now remember, in our operators, we had two ampersands, which is equal to and age is less than 21. So let's change age to 20. Let's change our echo to you are not allowed to drink. And you can see that the output is you are not allowed to drink because age is 20. And we want to see if age is between 18 and 21, which is equal to true. Thank you for watching this episode. The next episode will be a part two of the conditional statements. I think it's necessary to talk about switch statements in a separate video, because if you start working on complex applications, you might be figuring out that using a switch statement is handier than using an if-else statement or an else-if statement. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.